A new research is bringing hope to women with a hard to treat type of breast cancer. A study published over the weekend in the New England Journal of Medicine found that combining chemotherapy with immunotherapy medicine added up to 10 months of survival time for patients with triple negative breast cancer. Our Dr. David Agus leads USC's Westside Cancer Center in California and joins us this morning. Good morning. This is good news indeed. So explain how this immunotherapy worked. So immunotherapy, when you give it to a woman with breast cancer, it had marginal results. Didn't do that much. In the past. In the past. Now when you combine it with chemotherapy, it unleashes the immune system. So the tumor cells are born with a don't eat me signal on the surface. And this drug blocks that don't eat me signal. You couple that with killing some cells with chemotherapy and those immune cells go crazy. And this is a 10 month survival advantage in this subsection of women with triple negative breast cancer, which is one of the worst kinds of breast cancer. 10 months doesn't sound like a long time unless you're the one that gets the extra 10 months. But when I heard 10 months, I thought, oh, I wish it was longer. But you say 10 months is a big deal. Well, you know, the average survival in this study was 15 months and bringing that up to 25 months. And what that means is we're going to get better at doing it also and hopefully go beyond that. I'm an optimist. 10 months buys you 10 more months of hope for new advances and new treatments, which are literally coming every few months to attack this disease. But this is a big one. What is triple negative breast cancer and how common is it? Um, you always bring us back to earth. So <laughs> Reality, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> um, breast cancer, many of the types have a particular signaling molecule, no, molecule, the estrogen receptor, the progesterone receptor, or HER2. This is the cancer that has none of them. So it's about 15 to 20 percent of breast cancers, but it's about 40 percent of breast cancer deaths. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing to target, so the outcome is pretty more, it's an aggressive outcome with a poor outcome to the patients with this type of breast cancer. But this changes it. We've seen advances in many of the types of breast cancer, and finally we're seeing one in triple negative breast cancer. And just remind people what immunotherapy is and explain, can they get it right away? So there are drugs on the market with immunotherapy now. They've been FDA approved this particular one for bladder cancer, for example. They've been approved for lung cancer, for kidney cancer, for melanoma. And so all of a sudden you have New England Journal of Medicine having a paper saying you can live 10 months longer if you add this drug to your therapy, but it will take significant time for the FDA to approve this drug. So if you're a patient, the big conundrum. The big problem is you say, listen, I want this treatment, yet I can't afford to pay for it till the FDA gives it a stamp. My insurance company said I'll pay for it. So there is that interval. And that interval to me is really tough and emotional because what do you do? You know there's a potential benefit, yet who's going to pay for it? People literally can't afford to wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very encouraging news. Thank you, Dr. David. Good Thank to you. see you. Good and to see you. Sitting at the table. Thank you, Gail.